Well, pro-Palestinian lady told the mayor and all them they can be murdered and go to hell, and then they said go to jail. What is going on everybody? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate every last one of you guys taking time out of your day. I'm sorry I'm laughing a little bit. <laughs> it's just too funny to me. I appreciate y'all taking time out of your day to view this channel. Keep doing it and in doing so, it would allow my videos to be pushed into YouTube recommendation and also allow my videos to keep getting recommended to you by you hitting that like button right there, right? Appreciate it. Don't forget the products you guys see being flashed across this channel somewhere down here, whatever like that. Those are all products that I use to do this stuff that you guys see all around me. All right. Also, make sure you follow me on all the platforms you see listed up here and down here. You guys are probably sitting there wondering, Ty, why are you seem to be cracking before you even get into this story? It's because you guys have no idea how much I love justice. You have no idea how much I love to see people who are so tough, big and bad, blah, 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 blah. And then when somebody handed to them, they just break down and they shriek. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're not doing something righteously. Who am I talking about? Do y'all remember? Have y'all even seen the video, even read about this pro? Uh, this pro-Palestinian lady who went off on the mayor. Then she was so mad and everything. And then she ended up threatening them. Y'all haven't heard about that or even seen it? All right. I don't have faith that you'll do this. You guys are all horrible human beings and Jesus probably would have killed you himself. Here is an unhinged far left woke Islamist. Her name is Reedy Patel. And uh, well, she's threatening to murder the uh, mayor of Bakersfield and a couple other people. Enjoy. Hi there, my name is Riddhi Patel. I'm here to speak in support of the city council introducing a ceasefire resolution, specifically the one um, United Liberation Front um, has drafted. I don't have faith that you'll do this. You guys are all horrible human beings and Jesus probably would have killed you himself. And the thing is though, it's very clear to me as in someone who's been an organizer for the past couple of years, that none of you care because you, you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine or any other country where oppression occurs because you don't care about the oppression occurring here. And I understand that you guys are all horrible people, but the thing is, 2,300 people being evicted in the last year, those are votes. And you guys, those are votes to win here in Bakersfield. And while you, you guys parade Gandhi around as a Hindu holiday called Chaitra Navratri it starts off this week, I remind you that these holidays that we practice, that other people in the global south practice, believe in violent revolution against their oppressors. And I hope one day somebody brings the guillotine and kills all of you mother so regardless of whether you elect people into office, they'll backstab you, they'll let you die, and for that reason, you guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors, we'll see you at your house. We'll murder you. Next speaker, please. Lance, followed by Kev, followed by Valeria. Ms. Patel, Ms. Patel, that was a threat, what you said at the end, and so the officers are going to escort you out and take care of that. Yeah, so y'all just got done seeing all that, right? Huh? See what she said? She said we will come to your house, and then she said, and murder you? Wow. The people who talk about wanting peace so much, the people who talking about folks need to be free, now you over here in the United States trying to bring that rhetoric here and why are they why do they feel so emboldened to do it y'all why do they feel so emboldened to do it you want to know why because we don't do anything we ain't saying nothing america i'm telling you you know what's really funny about me about a lot of americans y'all do a lot of talking oh if it came push came to shove and push came to shove we will you're being pushed right now look i gotta give a shout out to a lot of places i grew up at chicago decatur St. Louis, in the hood and everything, I got to give y'all some props. Because one thing you are not going to do, you are not going to come to the hood and punk the people in the hood. You will find out real fast. What are you saying that for, Ty? A lot of Americans, since I came into the corporate world, do all this talking about our forefathers and what they stood for and what America is. And we won't take no crap. We won't. Y'all took four years of crap. I didn't. A lot of y'all did. I didn't, I, didn't put the, I didn't put on the diaper. I didn't put a diaper on my face to go into certain places. I didn't. 
They just had to ignore me because I gave them a look and that was it. I didn't sit there and get the Fauci, Ouchie, Hokey Pokey clot shot at all. I came with evidence. I came with religious exemptions. I came with counsel saying that this is what's going to happen. Should you let me go? Okay. Anyway, in this particular case, I haven't had anybody come up to me and try to shout about from the river to the sea and nothing that on me. Did I just rhyme? I never had to sit there and defend myself or from the river to the sea. Had it come on me? Yeah. Anyway, I never had any of those things like that happen, right? I gave my words on what I felt about the whole thing between Israel after they did, after Hamas attacked them. I gave my two cents on that. What I don't get and what I don't understand is what's going on right now. That's for another video because protests are breaking out all across America right now, y'all. They are. With people shutting down highways over in San Francisco, O'Hare Airport up here in Chicago, New York. They're breaking out everywhere. Anyway. This particular lady, the fact that she feels so emboldened, they can say something like that. Where you're talking about because you don't agree with how things are going, you're talking about showing up to somebody's house and murdering them? Well, she wasn't expecting this to happen. Yeah, that's what I love about that. See, you get isolated, huh? Where's that boldness at? You get isolated. Now, yee, ay, yeah. Uh-huh. Where, where, where's all, where's all, that, all that strength you had, all that boldness you had and all that? Now you're crying. You should be in there. You should be standing proud. Go out as a martyr. I stand for my people. Yes, I said it. I stand for my people. I stand. Go to jail. Be in there. I said that, and I stand for them. Where'd that go? Went out the door real quick, didn't it? Yee, ay, yeah. Anyway, y'all, I might be covering some more stories on this a little later on. I'm not sure yet because I get real pissed off about stuff like this when it comes to people shutting down highways and disrupting other people's lives that they feel is so emboldened to do where you can shut down. I don't even know how you can even shut down a highway. I, like the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge and places. I, I don't even understand how you can just shut it down. I really don't. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about, do y'all? Because, I mean, what if you happen to be reading the map or reading your looking at your phone or changing the radio station? <laughs> the heck was that anyway mm, no let me stop <laughs> let me stop am i too far off with this folks what do y'all think about this or do y'all think she deserved jail time after saying that do you think when i say jail do you think she needed to like you know what since you want to make threats like that we give we're giving you a year do y'all think she needs to go to jail answer that question first second question do you think she deserved probation now third question do you think I don't know if this lady works or not. Do you think she should lose her job because now people might feel unsafe around her? Or do you think, ah, uh, I think her being, you know, nationally embarrassed is enough. Whatever that case may be, whatever your thoughts are, whatever your thoughts, whatever your thoughts are, y'all try saying whatever your thoughts are. There we go. Whatever your thoughts are on this particular matter, leave it in the comment section after this video, all right? Right in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button before y'all get out of here. Let me hear what y'all got to say on this, all right? I am Ty Smith, model renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, most of all. I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.